Hello everyone, and welcome to the Red Special Guitar Meetup in 2024. Now the Red Special Guitar Meetup holds a special place in my heart, not just because I started putting it together again back in 2016-17, but because of what it means. And I certainly I wasn't the first person to create one. That, that was Adam Bent back in the early 2000s, and it's been hosted by many people throughout the years, including Mark Reynolds, Mike Ride, and Matt Wickham, just to name a few. Um, and it's been a great event and it's, it's continued to grow. But we went for a period of time where it wasn't a consistent meetup. And when I got back into the Red Special Forum in 2016-17, I thought I would put something together to get people back in a room, mainly because I wanted to see my friends of old in a room together and get to look at cool gear and, and have a good old time. But so we put that on and about 16 to 18 people turned up. We had some people from Europe rock up. You guys have been with us since the beginning and uh, we had a jolly old time and we all thought that maybe we ought to do it again. And here we are some eight years later hosting the seventh Red Special Guitar Meetup in person and what an event it's become. Now, I get a lot of thanks for the effort that I put in and I know my team are really grateful for the thanks that they get for putting their effort together for this. But it wouldn't be what it was without the Red Special community. And it wouldn't be what it was or what it is without you guys. We've made some decisions this year to grow that and to try and include even more people from the community because we were very aware that the old venue was a lot smaller and we couldn't have as many of you there. So we've taken a massive leap of faith. And on those dark nights when I was thinking, is this the right thing to do? Have we overstretched ourselves? Are we going to shoot ourselves in the foot? I turned to my friends for their thoughts on what the Red Special Meetup and the wider community means to them. Hello everybody, it's Doug here. I live in Scotland in the UK and I run Doug Short Guitar Blog, that's DSGB, website and YouTube channel. I joined the Red Special Enthusiast community in August 2012. I attended my first meetup at Field Village Hall in 2017. And one of the main reasons I keep coming back is because I love talking to and joking around with like-minded people. And I was made to feel really welcome even though I'm not a competent guitar player. I love in this community how there's a mix of amateur and professional luthiers and musicians, etc. And people are happy to show off rare and expensive guitars and equipment, and also the impressive stuff that they've made. Good afternoon, Herben here from the Netherlands. Um, the Red Special Meetups, yes, they're truly amazing. first one I visited was in 2010 very small back in the day. It was great, but uh, it became something completely different over the past few years. To me personally, it's not about uh, the gear anymore. It's about uh, true friendship to all the people uh, organizing and uh, showing up every year. Thank you very much. And uh, I'm looking forward to the next one again. Live short, let's rock. Hi, my name is Gonzalo Plaza. I've been a Brian May and a Red Special fan for over 30 years. The Red Special Meetup is a very special place. Uh, you meet with a lot of people that uh, you might have known online, you might have uh, seen videos of them. Um, they're all your friends, they're all family. And it's, uh, it's a really strange feeling to be among uh, people from all over the world that uh, share your passion, that uh, have Struggle, have the same struggles that you've had in the past, uh, building a guitar, trying to get the tone, trying to get the equipment, trying to get information. Um, but it's truly, truly a wonderful event. Uh, and it's, again, more than just for about the guitar. It's, it's about the people, it's about the community. And I'm very excited about our 2024 uh, meetup and to see a lot of uh, familiar faces, a lot of new faces and well, uh, hope to see you there. Hi, I'm Uri, and probably the only guest at the meetup in Reading who can't play guitar. But together with my son Marcus, 
we have already built six red special guitars, all of which are still in our possession. Today I'm glad to have captured all the events with my camera. The pictures are very emotional memories of our meetups in Reading. It was simply incredible fun to achieve a level of quality as part of an international team that each and every one of us would probably never have achieved alone. Well, what does the RS Meetup mean to me? When I had the crazy idea of building an electric guitar with my dad over 20 years ago, it quickly became clear that it should look like Brian May's Red Special. But I didn't think anyone else would be that crazy, but I was wrong. In 2017, after we had built our second replica guitar, this time based on the plans published in Simon Bradley's book, I heard about the RS meetup in Reading for the first time. And my dad Uli and I knew we had to go there at least once. And I was totally fascinated by the atmosphere, the warm welcome, and above all the fact that it was an absolutely open and constructive exchange of ideas and how to improve the building process. The friendly and courteous interaction with each other is a feature of the meetup. Of course, my dad and I have to face a language barrier, but we have always enjoyed exchanging ideas together and we have always felt welcome and well integrated. So many thanks for that. The RS meetup is a real affair of the heart for me and I look forward to regularly spending time with like-minded people. Or should I say people who are just as crazy as I am. Uh, hi, my name is Julian Hemingway. Um, I'm from the UK. I've been a massive Queen fan, Brian May fan and an extreme Red Special fan for about 50 years. I come from a time when uh, the idea of a meetup would have been impossible. Uh, in fact, it would have been a very lonely affair. Uh, today, I don't need much convincing that they're a good idea because uh, it gives you a chance to see the real people behind the faces and names on the forums. Um, I'm a builder, not so much a player, so I get the most out of being able to walk around and see what other people have built, uh, new ideas, uh, you know, new colours, new parts being manufactured and uh, I'm sure that the meet means lots of things to different people and I think that we should all remember that this is put together by uh, the team uh, who uh, do a great job every year uh, making sure that these things can happen. Um, uh, let's just say long may they rain. Hi there, Peter from Sweden here. I uh, just want to tell you, I'm really looking forward to meet you all at the meetup. And um, it's one of the best time of the year, actually. And I uh, also get some time to spend with Steve in Wales. And, and um, um, yeah, meeting old mates is, is, is the, the, uh, the most important thing for me. Actually, I retired from, from the music live scene uh, almost two years ago now. So, um, not even playing much at home anymore either. So um, anyway, looking forward to see you guys. Have a safe journey over if you come from abroad like I do. And, and um, well, see you, bye bye. Hello everyone, I'm Satsuki Kube from Japan. For those who were there at the 2022 UK meetup, you may remember me as a man with this particular outfit. As a man who had to fly 40 hours to attend the meetup, I assure you that it was all worth the travel. Lots of red special, lots of green gears, and most importantly, the meeting with lots of people all over the globe sharing the same passion. 
for me, it is the day that still lingers in my mind. You'll have fun at this year's meetup, and someday, one day, I'll come home. See you very soon. Hi, my name is Josh, and I'm 10 years old, and I'm from England. I've been the fan of the Red Special since 2018, and I got my first one. Oh, this one here in 2019. I like and I like the Red Special um, meetup because how people can bring in different modified guitars and people around the world can get together and play with different people they've not seen before when they don't normally have the chance, for example, and everyone to get together and yeah, so that's why good experience to go every year. Hi everyone, Merlin here in beautiful Montreux. I'm Merlin, I'm a guitarist from Switzerland, part of the Red Special community, and I would like to say a few words about this community. It is so dear in my heart. And um, to me, this community is much more than a bunch of nerds, which it basically is a bunch of nerds. But I don't think being a nerd and being in the community of nerds is necessarily a bad thing. I think nerds make for the most wonderful communities there they can be because they're passionate about things, very passionate. And so when passionate people come together and create things, wonderful things happen. And I'm incredibly grateful to be part of this community, which led me to being a guitar player, learning more about the Brian May thing. And right now, being in the tribute band, playing in Montreux, I, 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 couldn't never, I could have never arrived, arrived where I am now without you guys, without the Red Special Forum. And so, thank you everyone for this. Peace out. To me, the Red Special Meetup is about forging lifelong friendships and also giving thanks. I believe last year there were people there from 13 or 14 different countries, all there for one reason, which is to show their love for the greatest guitar ever built, and also to honor the amazing men who built her, Sir Brian May and Harold May. Over the years, I've been helped by so many people in this community, so many amazing people. And at the meetup, I get to walk up to these individuals and say, hey, thank you. Thank you for all that you've done for me. I truly appreciate all that you've done for me and also for the other members of this community. I always leave the meetups feeling absolutely refreshed, ready to practice harder than I ever have before. And I always feel as though as if we could spread all that love and camaraderie that is at a meetup to the rest of the world, what an amazing world it would be. Hello everyone, my name is Andrew. I am from the States. Back in 2022, I attended my first Red Special Meetup in Phoenix, Arizona, hosted by Luke Howarda and Don Underhill. For me, that meetup was very special because it was the first time that I met people from the forum in person. And it was also special because it was the first time I got to hold a real replica of the Red Special and play it through an actual AC30 setup. That same year, I also attended my first UK Red Special Meetup and it was such an incredible feeling that I finally got to meet everybody that I've met online that has helped me throughout my guitar journey. And it was also an incredible experience because I got to make new friends like Mark Reynolds for example. So if you were to ask me, what does the Red Special Meetup mean to me? I would have to say it means one word, the community. from sunny Phoenix, Arizona, Luke Holwerda here. Growing up in the States and being a bit of an Anglophile, I always thought like I was missing out on something that was happening in England. When I was in high school, the internet was just starting to get up to speed. I can remember sitting, listening to my dad's Queen records and wanting to know more about this wild guitar I was hearing. I would wait for photos of it to download. 
one excruciating line at a time. Eventually I found a bookstore on the other side of town that had massive racks of imported magazines, music magazines. And by chance, one day, I found Guitarist Magazine that had Simon Bradley's in-depth look at the guitar, as well as Greg Fryer's restoration of it. And I finally started to understand all the little stories I'd been hearing about it. Obscure and arcane concepts like a knife-edge tremolo system, and whatever blockboard was, finally started to make sense to me. Twenty-something years later, I look back fondly at the almost private detective-like nature of trying to piece together the clues of this guitar. I couldn't have imagined the opportunity to attend a meetup like the one in the UK. Seeing all the gear, hearing the full-size Vox rig in person, being able to actually play one of the guitars, and ask questions of other enthusiasts. How do I add wormholes to the back of my neck? How do I age these pickups? What if I want a neon pink copy of this guitar? Once I heard about all the amazing stuff John Underhill was doing with the meetup over there, I immediately thought, someone should do one of these in the States. I think a teenage Luke would have lost his mind. So here's to the UK meetup, and here's to 60 years of the Red Special. Hope you guys have a fun weekend, I wish I could be there with you, and I hope somebody will play Tiger Mother down for me. Take care.